Funding for disasters continues to be a challenge for Tobago, and that must be looked at closely, especially as the island thrives on tourism. That's the view of Tobago House of Assembly Tourism Secretary Tasha Burris. Burris speaking to senior reporter Gisha Kaulesa Alonso at the Global Tourism Resilience Conference in Montego Bay, Jamaica earlier today, says the long-term effects from an economic standpoint are yet to be determined as it pertains to the oil spill which began last week. How do we put that into our budgeting processes? How do we ensure that there's always um, an element of funding that is set aside for when things happen that we do not necessarily um, plan for? So whether that be a natural disaster, whether that be a man-made disaster, whether it be an economic fallout, whatever the situation might be, one of the things that we have to look at seriously as a small island is the issue of funding. Speaking on global tourism resilience, Jamaica's tourism minister Edmund Bartlett says there needs to be more dedicated funding for tourism to assist with shocks. And I think that that can be done by the tourists themselves who come into our space. And actually I'd propose that we look at the possibility of what we call a resilience tip so that in the same way that um, tourism um, partners would tip for good service. You know, a waiter comes and does a good job and you give a tip. It's just the same way that at every point of consumption, you leave a tip. The Global Tourism Resilience Conference ends on Saturday. Due to the Hollywood strike last year and the reduced movie content, Cinema One Limited recorded an after-tax loss of approximately $286,000 for the three months ended December 31, 2023. Chairman Brian Jara said in its unaudited consolidated financials on Thursday that Cinema One Limited felt the impact in the first quarter of its financial year from the postponement of notable movie releases. Jara added that Cinema One, which operates IMAX and Gemstone, managed to mitigate the reduction in movie content through offsetting growth via new openings of movie theaters in Central. And now for a look at today's energy and forex prices. Andrea Perez-Sobers, CNC3 Business Watch.